Hello YouTube, my name is Chris J and today I'm going to show you how to make the mechanical part of my H-Pattern gear, sh gear shifter that I made quite a while ago. There were some requests for it and I decided, decided that I actually need to repair some part of it and it was a perfect opportunity to show how, how to do the mechanical core of, of the gear shifter. I must admit I did record everything on my small camera including the audio so I apologize for, for the occasional background noise and the quality of, of the recording itself but, um, but I hope the, the video is, uh, is useful to you and if you're doing this sort of a project it will throw some ideas uh, in your direction or something like that. So enjoy the video and um, see you around. Uh, I will need to rebuild this uh, core structure here because uh, well, basically, at first I uh, chose the wrong material here. This is uh, some uh, very soft cork. And I've bought uh, some uh, piece of wood here uh, that, I'll will, that I will cut up and uh, uh, remake this core structure here. And uh, also that, that will probably solve one of the problems I've been having that these parts here where the springs are attached uh, are kind of uh, really weak and sometimes they just pop off and one of the problems could be that this central uh, screw here is uh, quite wobbly and uh, yes and in the process I will be able to show you how to how to make this whole uh, whole uh, core structure and show you the the mechanics of it maybe uh, here I can show it to you from the other side as well. It basically looks the same. Uh, only for some reason um, this this side with this screw is a bit uh, stronger. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I put it up, put these uh, springs here a bit later when I realized that uh, with just two springs on the other side uh, the mechanism wasn't strong enough and it didn't feel quite quite. Uh, There was not uh, enough uh, resistance when I was uh, switching gears, and uh, yeah. And the, the other difference is that here I've put uh, a wire up, so that um, the wiring that goes from the switches to the USB board uh, don't go into the mechanism and don't just get damaged or something like that. Yeah, I, I will now take this apart as well. And this is uh, how the core itself looks. Just two pieces of uh, cork, which you, by the way, you shouldn't use. Here on the top, I made some holes. Well, I basically chose this cork because it was easy to work on and make these holes because uh, I didn't have the right instruments or tools at the, at the beginning. And here on the top, I have some uh, stoppers for, for doors or for drawers. I don't remember which one. For, for what they were, but I found them at the hardware store and just bolted them a bit um, diagonally so that there's this feeling of switching gears when you when you move the lever itself. Uh, yeah, and now I will try to uh, remake this this core structure with some proper materials and bolt it together because as you can see it's it's quite wobbly because these screws get got low, uh, get uh, loose and don't hold the structure together yeah. uh, so I did some measurements and it turns out uh, I can make the both uh, both holes in the blocks uh, the same because I remember that previously I did them differently because I was afraid to cut a bigger hole, a bigger hole. Uh, because I thought this um, this block of cork wouldn't hold the, hold it together if I cut it uh, if I cut a bigger hole here. So yes, I did some measurements, and it turns out that I need to cut a hole. Uh, here, so it's 70 millimeters here and 2.25 uh, millimeters here, 
and uh, yeah, I just did some measurements on, on that hole. So I'll, I will drill a large hole here and here and cut the rest out with uh, a hand saw uh, that I got recently. And uh, yes, after that I will be able to put uh, the blocks together and make uh, the smaller blocks together and uh, put uh, and make a solid structure, much more solid than than I had before with, with these pieces of cork. And this is what I came came up with. I, uh, as I said, I drilled a couple of holes on each of the board, and then I used uh, four screws on each side to screw together these these two parts, and then. I found these these connectors. What what? That's what I call them. They are some, some sort of uh, IKEA leftovers that I used uh, to to hold this these two bl two blocks together. And uh, well, yeah, that's basically it. Looks a bit crude, but I think uh, it holds together. I want to avoid any any movement between the blocks. I think that was the main problem. In the previous version, uh, because of the movement, the, the springs uh, gave way and were just slipping off uh, from the from their um, attachment places. So yeah, next task is to next task is to connect this on the sides, on both sides, which I will use. To hold this, to hold this block together on the sides, and the bottom part will attach to this structure here, which will uh, which will enable the side-to-side -side movement here. Uh, yes, that's about it. So uh, <clears throat> now that the sides are done, I think. The last thing will be to find a proper screw here that will hold the, the springs and I've also drilled a couple of holes here for the wires that will uh, go through here and, uh, and hold the, the actual lever in place and also I reattached these things, I don't know what you actually call them, door stoppers or drawer stoppers. Uh, that help with the the balance that help to balance the, the lever in the center. And also yeah they, they sort of create this feeling that I'm switch, switching gears actually. Now yeah the last thing is to put everything back in and I hope <laughs> I hope I just I'll manage that. It will be quite a squeeze uh, but um, yeah, I won't be showing that because uh, there's not enough place here, and uh, yeah, it will basically go back in like this. And uh, now everything is back in. It wasn't easy to to do it, especially because uh, this uh, top part was was still on all the time, so it was a bit of a hassle. But if you are starting starting from scratch, it shouldn't be a problem. So I did uh, reattach these with a single screw here. I hope it holds. If not, I'll uh, come up with a different solution. And uh, otherwise, it uh, it looks fine. Uh, I can show you the movement as well. I will need to to do something about movement. This movement here. I'll probably just add another screw right here at the bottom. I'll uh, show you show you it show you it a, bit, a little bit better. You see, there's a movement there. I need to do one more uh, screw there. Otherwise, it's it all seems alright. There's no uh, interference anywhere that I'm seeing, uh, and it should be fine. If you have any questions, just uh, add them to the comments below or, the, or to the previous video and I'll try to answer them.